Yeah, when you're ready. I like to start these silencer videos out with the best clip of raw audio to give everyone an idea of the sound right from the start. But I just couldn't decide on just one for the Hydrogen L, so you got three. That was 300 blackout out of an AR, 308, and then 300 blackout out of a locked action. Needless to say, the Otter Creek Labs Hydrogen L does an amazing job of suppressing them all. Otter Creek Labs is blowing up. Not too long ago, they were just getting started. Just a small group of rednecks in Kentucky with the dream of making quality, quiet silencers. Now they're a serious force to be reckoned with in the silencer industry, putting industry juggernauts like Silencer Co. Rugged and Griffin to shame with their superior performance. Otter Creek Labs holds several coveted spots on the Pew Science standings. For those that don't know, Pew Science is an engineer who has really taken the time and effort to come up with a scientific and accurate method of measuring a silencer's sound as perceived by the human ear. Converting that into a single number ranking to accurately review and rank silencers based on their sound performance. Through Pew Science testing, Otter Creek Labs has achieved the quietest 556 silencer, the Polonium. The Hydrogen L is the second quietest silencer tested on 300 blackout, and the Hydrogen L is the fourth highest with 308. What is really monumental is the Hydrogen L carries very remarkable performance from 308 over to 300 blackout. For most silencers, this is usually hard for them to excel at both supersonic rifle rounds like 308 and subsonic rounds like 300 blackout. But the Hydrogen L accomplishes this task extremely well. Those are some very impressive numbers and even more impressive from such a young company. But it's not like the guys at Otter Creek just started making silencers in the garage one day out of nowhere. They had a Form 1 silencer company for years before Otter Creek was formed and this allowed them to do a lot of research and development on what worked and what didn't. So when they hit the scene with Otter Creek Labs, they hit with a bang, albeit a very quiet bang, producing top performing silencers right out of the gate and the Hydrogen L is definitely a top performing silencer. To compete with the quietest silencers made, the Hydrogen L is of course rather large at 9 inches long and a diameter of 1.625. The full titanium construction gives it a weight of only 11.9 ounces without a mount, which is crazy light considering its size. That's actually where the Hydrogen gets its name since Hydrogen is the lightest element. As you can see, we are dealing with some very sophisticated rednecks here. It is also important to know that the Hydrogen L is the largest of the Hydrogen series, and there is also a Hydrogen S and a Hydrogen K that get increasingly smaller if you want a silencer with similar characteristics and maybe not quite as long as the L version. The Hydrogen series is also available with either a 30 caliber bore, like the one I have, or a 6.5 bore. From what I understand, if you don't need the 30 caliber bore, the 6.5 bore makes smaller calibers like 6.5 Creedmoor even quieter. Lots of claims on the interwebs of users saying the quietest can on 6.5 Creedmoor. I can't confirm or deny that because I've never shot one, but I will say the 30 cal version that I have is very impressive on 6.5 Creedmoor and the smaller bore could only improve upon that. While we were reviewing the Hydrogen L, we shot it on several guns like the Steyr SSG and it had no ill effects on accuracy. We were easily able to make shots out to a thousand yards with no problems using the Hydrogen L. Thank you. 
We also had very minimal to no point of impact shifts and we noticed that on everything from a 308 like the Steyr to 6.5 Creedmoors like this Begara and even on 5.56 bolt guns like this Savage. Very little shift across the board and also sounded really great even on the 5.56 bolt action. One of the places that I think the Hydrogen L shines the most is on 300 Blackout. While we were viewing this can, we had the opportunity to shoot it on this really cool AAC 300 Blackout AR, and it just had flawless function with phenomenal sound. Adam from Hootie Who also came out on another trip and brought his CVA Break Action Scout Pistol, which was a ton of fun. I never thought I needed a break action until I shot one, and it was amazing with the Hydrogen L. Well, enough of me babbling on. I think it's time that you hear it for yourselves. How many? Three. And you know sometimes subsonic ammo does not work well without a suppressor on 300 blackout ARs. Hopefully you guys get the idea, but the Hydrogen L is very quiet across a wide array of calibers and platforms. It's a very impressive, very quiet silencer. Let's talk about versatility and mounting options for a minute. The rear of the Hydrogen is threaded in what has become pretty much the industry standard 1 and 3 8 by 24 also known as the hub. The Hydrogen ships with a 5 8 by 24 direct thread adapter in the back and Otter Creek calls this their ZRO DTA, also known as the Zero Direct Thread Adapter. This direct thread adapter is pretty cool because it adds absolutely no length to the silencer and it uses a socket for removal. With the Zero Direct Thread Adapter, you can immediately attach this to any of your 308 rifles, 300 Blackout rifles, or anything else threaded in 5 8 by 24 right out of the box. The Hydrogen will also accept the Dead Air Chemo, the Dead Air Xeno. You can also use Q's Plan B and Cherry Bomb, or any of the Reardon Manufacturing brakes and adapters. You can use Silencer Co. Direct Thread Mounts, you can use Dead Air Direct Thread Mounts, Silencer Co. ASR, Area 419 Hellfire, Basically, the options are limitless. I always prefer suppressors with the 1 and 3 8 by 24 threads in the rear because it doesn't limit me to any one particular mounting system. I can use them all or just go with direct thread, but most importantly, it doesn't limit me to anything. The Hydrogen L is an amazing suppressor and one of the absolute quietest available, and while it works well all the way around, I think it shines the most on bolt action rifles and 300 blackout. Mine being an L version, it does build up a good bit of back pressure that you don't notice as much on the bolt actions and also isn't noticed as much on subsonic 300 blackout, even in semi-autos. I would also say that the Hydrogen L was easily hearing safe on anything that we put it on. It is a big can, but that size translates into a very pleasant sounding suppressor. If your intention was to primarily use it on semi-autos, I might look at the smaller S version for a little less back pressure, or you may have to just tune your gun a bit. But I believe that anyone would be extremely happy and impressed with any of the Hydrogen series. These are exceptional cans being built by an exceptional group of blue collar guys that have been in the Form 1 silencer game for long enough to figure out what works and what doesn't. And the Hydrogen L definitely works. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and hit the notifications bell so YouTube lets you know when we have a new video because we have some really, really big things in the works that you won't wanna miss. 
If you want to know what those are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram and Facebook and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you like what you see here on Alabama Arsenal and want to help support the channel, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make and every contribution helps and is greatly appreciated. There is also Alabama Arsenal gear in the link right below the video. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.